Well, Emily, fortunately, this turned out just to be a false alarm, but really for hours, panic set in for students and for parents, many of whom tell me they are more than bothered. This is how they're growing up. We feel 99% sure. In fact, we're 100% sure this school is safe. Uh, our students are safe. For two hours on their very first day back from break, hundreds of students at Wakefield's Northeast Metro Tech huddled in the dark, clutching their phones and one another. Since I'm the big kid, I had to barricade all the doors with all the ducks. Panic, like all we can think is like the Florida shooting just happened, so like you don't know what could happen. And for their parents. It's like undescribable. I mean, as a mother, it's your child, that's your job. And when she texted me and said she was scared, there's nothing I could do. It started when a student saw a threat on Snapchat. They shoot her and that the party was going to come to the school and shoot up the school. Authorities would later determine the threat was actually made against another school with a similar name seven hours away in Maryland. The comfort felt here today short lived. This generation is honestly the worst generation that I could even think of right now because it sucks to be in this age and have to deal with this. Saddest part of today is that when you get your texts from your child, going, I'm okay, but I just want to say I love you. It made us, I can't even talk about it. I just don't want to see anything happen to anyone, you know, and I just think that we need to find a way to protect all of us. And also today, just this morning, in fact, in Harwich, police there responded to Cape Cod Tech for yet another threat at that high school. Fortunately, nothing was found. We're live in Wakefield, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.